GearAddict.com's coverage of the 2014 International Consumer Electronics Show has been brought to you by Stylus, innovative products for an innovative lifestyle. Pioneer Electronics, the future of car audio. Mogopod, the world's most versatile monopod. Grip and Shoot, one-handed wireless control for your phone. Ion, shoot in HD, share in real time. Goji Smart Lock, the most advanced smart lock for your home. And Hyper, get more with Hyper Mobile Accessories. I'm here with Joe at the Affinia 3D booth. Joe, how's it going? It's going really well, especially after you got here. So. <laughs> Very cool. So this is one of the coolest things I've seen so far here. How did you guys actually get into 3D printing? Well, our, our parent country, Micro, Microboards, uh, does uh, CD and DVD duplicating. And as you know, that's kind of a mature marketplace. So what they decided about four years ago is to create Affinia to take advantage of growth markets. And one of the ones that popped out right away was 3D printing. So what we were able to do is we looked at a, a number of different printers and we found this one is actually manufactured in China. So we bring the base machine in, tweak it cosmetically and technologically, and then make it uh, good for the U.S. market, and there it is. Wow, very cool. So explain exactly what's going on here, how this works. Oh, yeah. It's actually extremely simple, is that we have this roll of uh, filament. It's ABS plastic. It, you know, it kind of looks like the string that you'd have in your weed whacker. Mm -hmm. Put it through a little tube, and then it goes in here. There's a little gear that feeds the plastic in to a really hot nozzle, and then it lays down layers under computer control. So it melts it, then it turns back into that. Is that yes, what it is? Yes, ab okay. absolutely, and it's it's hot enough so that it flows through the nozzle, and it kind of sort of melts the previous layer, and then they cool together. So that's really? how it sticks together. It's really neat. That's really cool. So how do you actually design it and then be able to print it out? Where does the designing come in? That's a really good question. There are a lot of software packages that people use. Uh, SketchUp is really common and it's really inexpensive. Mm -hmm. As you start moving up the line into more professional prototyping, you have AutoCAD, MasterCam, SolidWorks, a lot of things like that. So a 3D designer will create something like, like this, which mm -hmm. is actually a, a cricket cage. Then what happens is that the file gets sent to our uh, printer. It's pretty cool. And then for people who don't do design work, there are a number of databases online where you can download things at no cost and print just for fun. Really? So ideally, what kind of people would use this? What we find is that educators are really interested because there's, as you know, there's a big push in the United States for STEM education. It's science, technology, engineering, and math. And our kids really have not gotten really interested in that. The neat thing about 3D printing is like young boys go, wow, this is cool. Uh, the girls have a little bit different approach. And this is, I'm, not, I'm generalizing here, but they'll go, they, they kind of they kind of maybe get it at a deeper level from a creativity standpoint. I agree. Exactly. exactly. Well, that's true. So what's happening is that STEM education, you have computer-aided design that they call CAD and you have computer-aided manufacturing, which is CAM. Well, what 3D printing does is it, it puts the CAM with the CAD, and it makes it real for the kids. So educators, we've got colleges, universities, tech schools, middle schools. Uh, the next, Exactly, and the next people that are really interested are engineers that are doing rapid prototyping, because what typically happens in an engineering firm is they'll have a really large printer that may have cost them $25,000 or more. Well, this time around, you know, let's say the printer is running all the time, they want to buy a second one. Well, what a lot of times what engineering firms will do is they'll go, wait a minute, I bought this one for $25,000. You mean I can buy 18 of those for the same amount of money? So what they then do is they start distributing 3D printing through all of their design and engineering teams, which means they can have the back and forth really quickly. And then when they have something that's good to go, then they'll send it to the big printer and then send it on to the client. The third people are creatives, you know, people who are 3D designers that design robots, jewelry. I mean, there's a case full that you can take a shot of if you wish. So this is a big deal. It, <laughs> it's a it, big deal. It is huge, it's and it's really a, cool. reasonably priced. Really? So time-wise, how long would it take to print this, say? Well, at, if you were going to rapid prototype this at the uh, loosest uh, resolution, this would probably, the whole thing would probably take, I'm going to say like maybe 12 hours. Uh, this is ultra fine resolution, so this is probably going to take maybe 16 or 17. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just we printed this in two pieces, just because it's a, uh, it's basically it's a cricket cage. Yeah, it's crazy, like the detail on there. What's one of the coolest things you've seen printed? Oh man, well this, this is definitely this is definitely one. Uh, probably some of the coolest things is is that uh, 
beast grip, the thing that, that takes a cell phone and turns it into like a camera platform. Oh, okay. So the thing that really excites me the most about this is that people have an idea in their head, maybe they kind of sketch it out, but for them to, to take it from the idea in their head into an actual 3D object, I think it's just awesome. And quite frankly, as one designer, she actually started crying when she saw her, her design happen that quickly. Yeah, because it comes to life. I think that's really cool. So does this thing like ever overheat? Like, you know, you said it takes like 16 hours yeah. to print at some time. So does it ever or overheat or anything? No, I no? mean, this this runs, uh, we have uh, this particular bed. I mean, a lot of people worry about the safety. Well, you know, I've got my finger on here and I'm not I'm not crying. Uh, the extruder nozzle uh, gets, gets pretty hot, but it's almost impossible to get your finger on it. Uh, as far as overheating, I mean, uh, we happen to have two of these in our in our office, and it's really quiet. It's really safe, and I think it's just amazing that for you know 1,600 bucks, you can have a mini manufacturing plant right on your desk. And it comes with a one-year warranty, okay. uh, which and what that really actually means is that we'll give you lifetime uh, tech support via phone, and you can actually call us in Minnesota, and someone will actually answer the phone and help you. And if for some reason we can't figure this out. We'll send you one, you send this one back, and you're still running, and then we'll figure it out from there on our end. Okay, and is this purchased um, separately? Does it come with anything already? Well, when you buy this uh, right in the box, we have uh, ev like literally everything you need to start printing, so you don't need to buy anything else. And uh, I've heard of people from the time they opened the box to the time they started printing, it's been from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Like a guy my age, 30 minutes, someone your age, 15. <laughs> so something like that, but it's very easy to do. And this is something really cool. The guys at Make Magazine in 2013 took a, uh, they did a 3D printer shoot out of 15 printers and we won uh, best experience. Oh, congrats. Uh, easiest to use and easiest to set up. And we were extremely happy about that. Did you cry? Uh, like the lady did I, when I, she made that? I didn't cry, but I can't tell you what I almost did. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. No, and so where can people purchase this? Uh, a lot of different places. You can uh, purchase it from us at Affinia.com. Uh, also, uh, Best Buy, Radio Shack, Amazon. So it's, it's pretty easy to buy. Great. Well, I absolutely love it. I think it's very cool. Actually, I think it's hella cool. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> We planned it. <laughs> All right, thank you, Joe. <laughs> thank you. We nailed it.